holidays, happy holidays. Christmas is like two days away. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about what are we talking about today? Not necessarily Christmas, but what are we talking about today? You know, I feel compelled to talk about things that just do something in me. And it doesn't necessarily mean something that I'm going through. It's just stuff that I see that is happening, right? So, and this is why I'm so adamant about being firm when it comes to your yeses and your noes. You have to be firm when it comes to your yeses, just as your noes, right? And those two words are complete sentences. You don't have to explain anything behind that, right? Because when you don't say yes, or you don't say no, then there's room to a maybe, right? And the other person who you're giving that information to don't really know what to do with it, and they might do what they think, they might assume what they think is best, and they might do that, and it might not necessarily be what you want them to do, right? Or, or, what you're, or the message that you're trying to convey across. And a lot of times I see this happening with people, and I'm like, you know, and I and I, I sit back. I don't really say anything. I just sit back. I observe the situation, right? And I just, I see everything that's unfolding. And I'm like, I can see how they thought this or they thought that. Because when you were talking, you wasn't clear. You weren't. You weren't clear at all. You was like, well, you was giving them reasons why you couldn't or you didn't want to. But you never said no. But if you did say it, you said it either before or after all the stuff in between and sometimes we do that and we have to be firm about it you got to be clear with your your intent you got you you have to because people can just use that and just do whatever they feel is best and that might not be what you're trying to you know convey right and so I see this happening and I'm like you ain't clear like you can't even be mad because you wasn't clear it's either yes or it's a no it's no reasons behind why or you know yes or no it's no reasons behind it it's, it's like somebody asks you something it's no somebody asks you something it's yes it's no well you know and then it's a lot of stuff right it's a lot of stuff in their head it's a lot of stuff in your head as well and what I hear a person on the outside here is you're not sure about it and they ain't sure about it either so you never know how it's gonna go right with me, <laughs> auntie, it's going to be a yes, it's going to be a no. Or it might be a nothing. If if, if, if I don't feel like you, just, if I don't feel like I, I need to give you any kind of response, I won't, just, I won't say nothing, right? And we have to be clear and precise about the message that we're trying to get across, right? Whether that's a yes or a no. You've got to be clear with it because people can take it and twist it and add to it and subtract. But what you can't do with that no and that yes, you can't do all of that because you can be like, no, I said no. I said yes. It's no. And you said all this other stuff in front of it or behind it. And it's like, it's not clear no more, right? We got to be clear when we're giving people instructions that pertain to your property, you, period. You have to be clear because people will do what they feel is best for them, not you, for them. That's why it's so important to be so clear about it, right? Somebody asks you something or requests something and you can't do it or whatever the case may be. A lot of times people reach out, want me to do stuff for them, blah, 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 and they, they give me this spiel. And I really just, I listen, but I already know, like I'm, I have other stuff that I'm, that I have other obligations. I have stuff that I'm trying to do, right? So it's a no, it's no, <laughs> or it's okay, yeah. And so even with your yes, be clear about, okay, so when you say yes, what are you saying yes to? What is this person asking you to do, right? And do you have all the information that you need? Because a lot of times we try to help people and do stuff for them. But we're not clear with exactly what the goal is. Like, what's the goal we're getting from this? What are we doing? What, what, what am I doing? Like, what's happening? What is the result of my yes? You know, when you say yes, get, get, the, get the, the everything that go with that yes, right? get to what that yes means and talk, you know you got you have to be clear a lot of people aren't clear about stuff and then things don't go the way they try to try to you know express them to go like you said yes but you said all this other stuff in between so it's like 
they gonna be all right if I do it anyway, right? They gonna be all right if I do what you want. You know, you do what you want to do, right? Excuse me, people do that. And then you're like, no, I didn't know. And you're trying to make all this excuse. No, you wasn't clear. They didn't understand you because you don't understand me. Got to be clear. Got to be clear. I just one message I wanted to really harp on because I see people doing that all the time. And I'm just like, I am, I'm straight no chaser. Drinkers know what that means. You ain't about to, <laughs> you ain't about to pull nothing over me. No, because I, I, I'm thinking about it. I'm processing it. And if it don't feel right in here, it's no. Or if I feel like I want, if I can do it, okay, yeah, yes. And we go from there. But be clear about your stuff. Be clear about it. Because people out here can take and twist stuff up and have you out here looking stuff, looking stupid. You know what I'm saying? In, in a situation that you don't want to be in. So be clear. Moral of the story. Be clear about your intentions with people, with places, with things. Because once you, once you say that, you can't take it back, right? You can't. So just be clear about that. Another thing I wanted to end on. Um, really, my um, my dry erase board is just, it's, I can't find my little thing to clean it off and it's all smudgy looking and I wanted to show you um, something I learned yesterday and something, I wrote it on a piece of paper, so. Your circle here is your comfort zone, right? Your comfort zone is everything that you already have right now. You got your house, you got your car, whatever it is you have, because everybody's, everybody's circle is going to be different. Everything on the outside is what you want, right? And in order to get these things on the outside, you have to get outside of your comfort zone, right? You got to get on the other side of your comfort zone. I was in here, right? I was in here for a long time. I wanted to speak. I wanted to teach. I wanted to motivate, right? And that was out here. So what I had to do, I had to get from out of here to here, right? And that's outside of my comfort zone. Keep stepping outside of my comfort zone. We'll continue to step out of my comfort zone, travel to another country, right? Outside of my comfort zone. Never, never been to another country, right? Never had a passport, got a passport. These are things that I've done this year. I stepped on the other side of my comfort zone. So what I'm telling you guys is the things that you want that you don't have on the other side of your comfort zone, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? 2020 is coming. What you going to do about it? You going to stay in that comfort zone? What's that getting you? You already got that. Everything else you want is on the other side of your comfort zone, outside of your comfort zone. We got to be comfortable with being uncomfortable, right? And that's where growth that's where growth comes in. Hey, hey, I'm growing and emphasizing. I'm growing and emphasizing. I don't know why I said that, but that song was in my head. I heard it somewhere, but anyway, Merry Christmas and stuff. Y'all gonna see me again. Let's talk about it. We always talking about it. Got a lot of time off, so that means a lot of videos coming. So, at least my earrings I made y'all too. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. You might see me soon. Happy holidays. Let's talk about it. We're always talking about it. Later.